Yes, I know. I'm sweating a lot too. Guys, you should drink something or you may get dehydrated. Let us have some juice. Sure. We need the energy. Oh, uncle, may we have some orange juice, please? Sure. Which one would you like? 300 ml, 500 ml, or one liter? Uh, I remember. ml is milliliter and l is liter. But but. Well then, let us revise a little. So, unit of capacity is measured in liters and milliliter. In short form, you write liter as l and milliliter as ml. So, these are the unit of capacity. Now, liter is a larger unit of measuring capacity. For example, if you want to measure the quantity of water in a bucket or oil in an oil can, liter is used. Similarly, milliliter is a smaller unit of measuring capacity in perfume bottle, juice bottle, okay, smaller container, you use milliliter. So, unit of capacity is measured as 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter. Here, Rita is consuming 3 liters of water. If she is consuming 3 liters, how many milliliters? You know the length of capacity. It is 1 liter, 1000 milliliters. So, if larger to smaller, you have to just multiply by 1000. So, 3 liter is 3 into 1000. It becomes 3000 milliliters. So, 3 liters of water, if Rita is consuming, that means she is consuming 3000 milliliters of water. Friends, to make it more clear, let's solve one more sum. 15 liters, you have to convert 15 liters to milliliter. So, write the unit of capacity, 1 liter, 1000 milliliter. So, 15 liter will be 15 multiplied by 1000 since you are converting larger to smaller. So, what is the answer? 15,000 ml. So, 15 liter is equal to 15,000 ml. Now, as usual, we always find out if 1 a liter is 1000 milliliter. We have to find out what is half quarter. So, here it's shown 1 liter, 1000 milliliter. So, what is half liter? Here you can see the half liter becomes 500 milliliter. So, 1 liter, 1000 milliliter, half liter, 500 milliliter. Now, students, quarter liter means between 200 and 300, that is 250 milliliter. I hope you have understood the lesson very clearly, children.